Yep. In this training video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the faders on the desk. There are various faders along, from the four that control PC, to the two CDs, to the back studio, to the external connections, to the sustain. For this, I'll be just using Playout Slider 4, but obviously they all work in very similar ways. There are various elements to the slider. You've got the on and off button. You've got the fader, which controls the volume. You've got the Q button, which allows you to listen to songs or jingles whilst they're not going out on air. You've got the balance and the pan, which allows you to move to left or right speaker. You've got the trim or gain, which is for subtle volume ad um, adjustment. And at the top, you've got buttons uh, that you don't have to worry about as long as PGM is lit up. For an example, to activate the channel, you press the on button to switch between on and off. Now, when it's on but the slider is down it will be red as soon as you put the fader up you will get it turning green the lower the slider is the quieter the actual track goes you will notice on the right hand side of the desk which you can't see here at the moment the needle should be between three and four so if the song for whatever reason is too quiet you can adjust the trim or gain which is the green dial clockwise to make it louder you can also, conversely, do it anti-clockwise to make it quieter. Don't worry too much about this, as the systems behind will make it sound better, but especially if you've got a quiet song, making it a better volume will make your show sound better. You can also pan using the red dial to the left speaker and to the right speaker. This will be mostly used for dialogue if you want to create the illusion of people speaking to the left and right of the listener. Finally, you've got the Q button. If you want to listen to the channel without it going out on air, make sure the slider is down or off, either will do, and press the Q button. You can then play it on Myriad or on CD or whichever channel you're using, and with the headphones on, you'll hear that playing in there without it actually going out on air, and the normal broadcast should be heard through the speakers. When you finish queuing the channel, unqueue it, and then you can pull it up as normal, and then it will play. That is how to operate the faders on the desk.